Taking a look at a stochastics divergence today in the E-mini S&P. You see the market here moving down. Um, and then you have the stochastic low related to this price action. And as the market moves lower, this stochastic is higher by a little bit than this. Um, this peak is higher than 20%. And typically, we like to see that lower than 20%. What we want to see is a one, two, three bottom in the in the um, in the stochastics, where this is your one point, this is your two point, and this is your three point. And we still see that pattern. Uh, we like to typically see this below 20%. But with a discretionary approach, um, you have the option of of overriding that and what, what we see a lot of times at 1130 here's 1130 Eastern Time is the market tends to rally if the market is down it can rally at 1130 and that's what it's doing today in anticipation of this uh, we looked for a stochastic divergence and uh, we saw a little bit of one in the E-mini S&P it was low enough risk it was uh, $125 we got in 13 uh, we could have got in a little bit better price um, again, you want the stochastics to come up and break this two-point level here. And so we could have gotten in at a quarter to a half a point better price. Um, but we got in at 13.34.75. We put the stop at the low. Uh, you also see how the market um, rallied this morning. And then it came back in. It took out the lows right around Europe. And then now it's rallying again. And so we're looking for the market to take out the highs and uh, to watch the market internals to see what it's doing. Um, when I have this pin out, the, the market price doesn't change, and so the market price is actually changing. It's at, um, let, me let me take the pin out so you can see what's going on here. So the price is up, up to 13.39. So we're looking for it to take out these highs and see what happens. Um, our 10-year note trade was profitable. Let me pull that up here. Here are some of the trades we took. The market went down. Um, it, our stop loss was 93.75. It hit a profit target, or hit a maximum run up in 93.75, and then it reversed, and so we got out at a half a point, and then got back in. We treated this trade more like a scalp, um, but um, I tweeted earlier that I recommended exit if you're still in this trade with 133.11 and a half, and so um, you could have got it out at 133.11 and a half, or even at a better price now uh, than what we did, and. Um, so we originally we got in at 133.17 with a stop loss at 133.20 and it hit 113.19 and a half so it came within a half a point of getting stopped out and then the um, the market sold off and it's still down today so it's profitable from when we called this trade so um, on a discretionary trade um, you can manage it in different ways you can treat it like a scalping trade like we did or you can uh, trail your stop down or you can just leave it where it's at and look for a big runner and so um, that's the update on 10-year notes if the uh, if we're long if we're long the stock market as we are here uh, these markets move inversely so uh, this market could sell off more so if you're still short this you could you could still stay with this uh, trade and uh, see how it turns out move your stop down to break even um, and then we're gonna we're, we're staying along this trade for now and we'll update you on the results of this at the end of the day we ended up exiting this trade with a five point gain 1339.75 we were looking at the volume someday indicator at the bottom you can see we were positive from the beginning this sums up the volume uh, the difference between the up volume and down volume during the day and we went negative I don't mind getting long uh, when the volume is red uh, but when it rolls over at highs um, you can see the volume rallied up here with the price, and then as the market rally, uh, market moved to here, uh, the volume was down again. Uh, we almost went to break even, and then the market rallied again after we got out, and the volume was still down. So uh, that's a divergence within itself um, for the vo the overall down volume to be greater at the highs than it was at this point right here, where you see it at break even. So that was the rationale for that trade. Um, we got a little scalp over here, a little bit of a divergence. The market makes a low, but this uh, this point is higher than that point. So we took a little scalp trade. Uh, still looking for a bounce in this market. We may get one this afternoon. And that is the results for today.